Right, so we continue with mu cooling and mu storage. So we already discussed how to collect milk from cows and now how to store the raw milk properly. This is the recommendation. Milk must be chilled to 4 degrees C or below as soon as possible. After milking, after the collection from the cow, it should be due to 4 degrees C or below as soon as possible because this is a good temperature to prevent the growth of microorganisms. So what methods we can apply? The first method for milk cooling storage is to use water tank. Okay, and this is the tank where they can apply. This method was applied in the history but nowadays I don't see anymore for example in Vietnam we don't see this but maybe some remote places in other country they still use it and then as you see they make a tank they put water and milk is in a churn it contain in a we call this is a churn or in the container and then the water is now put in at the bottom and then the water is up to here the water is entered here frequently and then it can be overflowed here when it's too full it will go out here like this and get out so then the can the can or the churn this is called churn the can are immersed in water up to the next water should be um, fresh replaced continuously because to maintain the low temperature, we should replace the water. And this would be best if this water is ice water. If we use ice water, then the temperature is further down. If we use normal water, then the temperature will just drop for a certain level only. It will go to water on temperature only. But if we add ice into this water, this would be good. So this is normally applied in the remote places where there is no electricity, for example. And then another method which has been applied in the past, also old methods already, nowadays I don't see this in Vietnam as well, is the one that people use cooling rings. Here you have like a, a pipe of water and then the water is transported through the pipe to like a circular tip here and on the tip here there are like small holes and then water will spray on the surface of the cans this is perforated tubular ring this is the ring perforated this means there are holes on it and then um, the water will spray over the surface and this would be good if, of course, the water is normal water is replaced by ice water, cold water. And then the same, this way, maybe they save water compared to the previous methods. And here, the cooling effect is both by sensitive heat and latent heat. Sensitive heat and latent heat both as well. So this method is actually quite effective. Sensitive heat is what is that? Because the temperature of the water is lower than the temperature of the milk, so heat from the milk will transfer to the water, and then the temperature inside the milk will go down, and that is called sensitive heat. But there is latent heat here because when you spray water like this, means that you have a small droplet of water. A small droplet of water means the large surface area per volume of water. Okay. The surface is larger. The surface is larger means there is a space for evaporation. So water evaporate, water evaporate. The evaporation is the conversion from liquid to vapor, and this process actually absorb energy. So this take energy to evaporate the water means it's cooling down the environment, right? So it make the air surrounding here cooler, and then this actually this is also make the cooling effect to milk. Okay, for example, if you go to some coffee shop in Vietnam, there is quite a lot that people just spray water to make the environment cooler. They, when they spray water like that, you see it's a small droplets of water. It fly, they fly out, and after some second, we disappear. 
why this appear? Because more droplets mean very large surface area for evaporation. The liquid water evaporates into vapor which absorb energy which make the temperature of the surrounding air cooler. Okay, so here remember there's two kinds of heat that will cause the effect of cooling to milk. And then the third method, immersion coolers. And this is applied where there is electricity already. For example, this is the cooling system that there is a refrigerant that flow inside, uh, flow into the tube like this, and go back to the system. And then here is the pipe is too cold. When they dip this pipe into the milk, it take the heat from the milk, it cool down the temperature of the milk. And this is suitable for small milk quantities, for example, 100, 200 liter, for example. And now we go to this, the most common methods to do raw milk storage is to use ice water jacket or the cooling tank. And this is system like this can be okay for five tons of milk. And you call it check it because actually there's two layer on the surface like this and then outside here is cold water and inside you have milk okay so they pump milk into this tank and then there is a rotation here that rotate that rotate gently to the milk to be sure that the heat from the milk will transfer to the cold water here and then to uh, to cool it down, the milk is cooled down and then the rotation make it homogeneous and the whole batch will be cooled down effectively if there is no rotation, maybe part will be warm part, the surface here will be cold but in the center is still warm and then this is a good chance for microorganism to grow and the rotation here is gentle actually, not so vigorously because if you um, rotate here so vigorously, it may may influence, it may break the fat globule, it will maybe change the textures of milk, for example. Okay, and this is this, this work exactly time to time, not conti continuously. Maybe it's like it's rotate for a while and it stop, and after that it will rotate for a while and stop like that. Then. What do you see here? It's just there is another pipe here with a strong spray like flow of water here. This is not where milk is pumped in. Okay, this is actually the CIP of the system. CIP is cleaning in place because after they discharge the milk, remove the, the milk, for example, transport the milk to the factory, then they need to clean. Uh, and the cleaning effectively is, is performed by using CIP system, cleaning in place. So they have to spray with water, for example, and then spray with chemical, and then spray with drinkable water again to make everything inside clean and disinfected. Okay, the milk is now collected from many cows and then pumped directly inside a closed system to the cooling tank. This cooling tank here, or here, for example, now is illustrated here like this. And then you see this light, this image has a heat exchanger here. This is a heat exchanger. Why do we need this? If you look back slide 2, if we go back to slide 2, that we discussed here, there is no heat exchanger here. But now in slide 9, there is a heat exchanger, so you need a further investment, but however, it's good. Why it's good? Because, for example, here, in the morning, you milk 100 cows, and you have half tanks. The morning, you already the milk already cold at 4 degrees C, and in the afternoon, you milk again the second time in a day. You milk 100 cows, and a lot of warm milk is pumped in. If there is no heat exchanger here, the warm meal will come here and then will increase the temperature of the meal that's, that, that already that's were put already in the morning and then the temperature of the whole mixture will increase and this is a chance for microorganism to grow. That is why it's good to install here a heat exchanger actually to lower the temperature of milk before it's going to the tank. To be sure, the milk there will not increase the temperature. 
good. I hope you get it. And then, why 4 degrees C? Uh, the recommendation is that milk, raw milk, should be lower to down to 4 or below 4 as soon as possible. But why 4? Not 15 or not 25 or not room temperature. If we look at this one, you see here is the time. And this is the temperature and here is the number of bacteria per milli ml of milk. If they lower the temperature of milk to 4 degrees C, you see that the number of bacteria will not increase significantly up to 28 hours. But at 15 degrees C, maybe 6 hours, and then the number of microorganisms will increase very fast. At 20 hours, and you have like 3 or 4 hours. 25, then 2 hour, but 30 degrees C, then 1 hour. Okay? At, if the temperature is high after 1 hour, the number of bacteria will multiply, will increase very fast already. And this is why they recommend at 4 degrees C. That in Vietnam, you know that there are large companies who process milk like Vina milk, like Frischland Combina, and they require the farmers that for the small farm, for example, they require that the milk should be outside maximum only one hour. So from the time that they take milk from the cow by hand milking, for example, the company require that they should bring to the collection point, to the point where milk is cooled down before one hour. Because after that, then you see that number of bacteria will increase very fast. But however, it's very difficult to uh, maintain this system efficiently because one hour is, is not too long. Then, for example, if the farmer they take me from the cow, it takes some time for them to transfer to milk several cows and then to transport to this point. And then during the time, maybe their uh, the motorbike get broken, whatever many factors that may prolong the time that the milk stay outside. And then so it's become a bit a little bit sour pH is a little bit lower, it's not fresh anymore, for example. Okay, and when we start at this temperature, for example, 4 degrees C, then the, the number of microorganisms start to increase after 2 days, uh, 3 days, for example. So, when you look at this, you will know that actually, if you have a large farm, and then when you, you milk your cow and you put milk directly in the cooling tank, at 4 degrees C. So the company do not need to come every day to take this milk. Because we'll see, after two days, then the number of microorganisms increases, not in the first day. So if you can maintain the temperature of milk very well below 4, then you just wait several days for your tank, cooling tank, to get food first before they come and carry one time. That saves the cost okay, of transportation.